Hey there again. So same night, same test. Uh, I opened the doors to let some of the heat we accumulated out and it's getting late. So I didn't, you know, let it get to the 48 that we started at. So it's like, what is that? 52, 55 ish. And the idea being, so if we started cooking with our little camp stove, you know, what would that kind of look like heat wise? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start that guy. And again, I've uh, got the fan vented. Don't worry, not going to die. Um, so we're just going to do, again, I, I was planning on doing this earlier this morning, back when it was, it was like 42 when we woke up this morning. And I still didn't get out here fast enough. Uh, so instead of a cup of soup, we're going to do some coffee. So we got some water. And uh, these little propane burners are awesome. I actually use the same exact stove, believe it or not, to homebrew in remote locations. This little dude on uh, that little tiny cylinder will actually, you know, heat up a gallon of water like nobody's business. If you want it to, um, I've done a couple of batches of beer off of one of these little canisters. And just to, to say for those of you who are like, oh, these little guys are expensive. You're right. But guess what? There's actually an adapter that you can buy. Walmart sells them. It's like five bucks or something. Um, that is a coupler between this guy and one of those like 20 pound, like the, you know, the, the big uh, propane tanks. And uh, you can actually fill this little dude off of a propane tank. That, you know, one of the big ones, the, you know, 10, 20 pound, whatever. The other cool thing is, is that this, so see that propane line right there? Uh, you can actually get another fitting that instead of fitting to this little one pound duder, uh will actually fit instead to one of the larger propane tanks. So, there's a bunch of different ways that you can use uh, this super simple uh, two-burner camp stove. And I I bought this at Walmart and I paid... I don't even know if they sell this one anymore. I've seen more complicated ones that they sell. Uh, but this little guy, like... I know I didn't even spend 20 bucks for it. It was less than 20 bucks. Because um, I'm cheap as hell, so I know I didn't spend that much on it but as I'm talking so we're three minutes in I can say that I smell the heat and the gas more even with being vented don't worry we're not gonna die um then with the sterno the sterno there was not a lot of smell and I know carbon monoxide you don't always smell it um but there is uh you know definitely a little more of a smell um, but again, you know, standing over the stove, uh, we're still feeling the heat and let's take a look at the thermometer. Yeah, we're already registering heat. So remember when we started, we were in the fifties, we're now over 60. And again, just for shits and giggles, we're going to move this over to the sofa, which is a whole three feet behind us. Um, you know. See what that looks like. No me. Co-pilots there still strapped in. Sorry. <laughs> I should probably unstrap them when we're not moving. Um But yeah, so now we're waiting for you know the water to you know boil or do something or get you know hot enough for the coffee. Um And again, so it's the idea that if you just go about your normal routine, um, you know, you're going to cook something, whether it be for dinner, for breakfast, or whatever, that that's, and you're doing it inside the van, that will, or RV, or trailer, or whatever it is, that that will heat the area. And, you know, I think that's true. Um, and again, you know, the big thing is to, Keep in mind safety. Make sure that you have a vent. 
make sure that you have a um, carbon, actually I think both, you can get both a carbon dioxide and a carbon monoxide um, alarm, just like you do a fire alarm for your house. Uh, and, and some of the carbon monoxides will actually even do carbon dioxide. You can get them from Lowe's or Home Depot. And, um, you know, just to make sure, you know, especially if you're, um, because some people are actually, believe it or not, run these little stoves because again, like the Mr. Buddy heaters or whatever, it's basically just a propane burner. So they'll actually, instead of run their little stove for heat, um, you know, which is fine, but you got to have that protection there. Uh, you know, make sure that you wake up after you go to sleep, you know? I don't know about anybody else, but I ain't, I ain't waiting to, to leave just yet. And actually, so this little dude, uh, that's getting ready to boil. So let's look at the temp here. And yeah, so we're still over 60, so... I think if I, if I was cooking something longer, obviously the temperature would um, rise more. Um, you know, I'm not going to sit here and cook a cup of water for 15 minutes. That's kind of dumb. But the point being, you know, if you're looking to, you know, for some quick ways that are more or less safe. Um, and if you only want them for about 15 minutes, just to heat the space, you can, you know, change some clothes, um, you know, wash up real quick, brush your teeth, that kind of thing, uh, before you start your day, yeah, this might be it. Otherwise, you're probably going to want to get some kind of heat because, you know, if we're starting between 40 and 50 degrees, but if you're camping less than that, obviously these little tips and tricks aren't going to do you a whole lot of good. You know, I'm in Florida. And, uh, yes, it does get cold in Florida, believe it or not. Um, there are places... Oh, there we go. We're starting to boil, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Um, there you go. Um, you know, believe it or not, there's actually places in Florida where it might snow. Period, you know, in the wintertime. Granted, it's, it's the panhandle, but the fact of the matter is it's still Florida, and it will snow. Um, and even here in central Florida-ish, uh, you know, it'll get cold. And there are times that it does actually get below freezing. So would I do this if it was below freezing to heat my camper? Uh, even for 15 minutes just to get, like, changed, wash my face, brush my teeth. Uh, no, not below freezing. If, you know, if it is right now, just to kind of take the edge off a little bit of the damp out. Sure. Um, if I was cooking breakfast in here, you know, that would definitely heat it up more than our little experimental cup of coffee. Um, but it's still not something that I would consider a heat source. So you would definitely need, even in Florida, something more than just a one or two burner propane stove or one or two cans of sterno. Uh, you know, so that's a decision you have to make for yourself. I'm not going to champion one source of heat over another. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very personal choice. <clears throat> and it also depends on how and why uh, you're using the heat and needing the heat. So uh, take that as, it, as you will. Uh, maybe a lot of you will still use, you know, if you have to plug into shore power, you know, using a standard heater. Or those of you using, you know, the the my Mr. Buddy heater or whatever it is, uh, the propane heater. Um, those are probably going to be better options for you. Um, and honestly, you know, I know if I had to, for some, if we were boondocking and if it was colder than 40 degrees... Uh, cause I've got, you know, I've got pots and pans and, you know, I'm planning if I need hot water, uh, for my tub, cause I don't have tanks in this van, is, uh, to simply heat them over this actual stove. And if it's too cold, you know, to do that and actually, you know, take a bath and sleep comfortably, then even I might look at a heater 
it just depends. Uh, there's not a lot of camping that I do outside of Florida. So again, my needs are very much different than some of yours. So anyway, have a good night. I'm going to finish, uh, you know, doing what I got to do for this cup of coffee. And y'all have a good evening. All right, bye.